random games. Uh, mm -hmm. Space Jam. The game? Space Jam, the game for PC. It's DOS. It's a DOS CD-ROM. I uh, I need to get DOS Box or something going so I can play this thing. Yes. I've we got to stream that. I'm into it. <laughs> Let's play Space Jam. Can you? We can probably. We must be able to play. Well, okay. We may not be able to play two players over the internet, but we can make yeah. it work at least. Oh my God! Do you have? Yeah. Do you have any pictures of the graphics that you could show uh, me? Because it's an all black and white. Manual. Bad sign. You know that this game is going to be terrible then. <laughs> if they don't show you any gameplay on it. And the only thing there, it's like, here's Michael Jordan. It's Space Jam, the game. <laughs> it, looks like it's, it looks like it's a mini game collection, actually. Um, oh, it's not even a basketball game. Oh, wait, there, there is. There's a basketball game. It looks like NBA oh. Jam with Looney Tunes. And, that sounds uh, like a dream right there. Well, well, we'll put pictures, uh, yeah. obviously, of, over there. Uh, but then there's mini games. There's uh, oh my God, S Speedy Gonzalez's crazy space race. This is the level if you hope to increase your court speed, amigo. So you do mini games to increase Dude. your attributes. It's like it's like a career mode. Yeah. Wow. Yosemite Sam shoot out the lights. Lola Bunny's Hall of Hijinks. Lola, yeah, I remember Lola Bunny. Intergalactic tournament. This game looks awesome. Okay, that's when we let's talk about it again when we play it because I really want to play that now. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of uh, another one that I really want to play, which yeah. I'm looking forward to. Space battle for Intellivision. Oh my God! You know I love the old illustrations on those games. Oh yeah, it's so good. Oh, it's so fantastic. Oh, it's, it's yeah, it's beautiful. It just makes you ready for adventure, doesn't it? It, I think it was necessary too because if they didn't set you up, then all you would, yeah, you'd just be looking at dots, Look at that. being like, "What is this? <laughs> what am I doing?" Look at that adventure right there. Oh my God! Look at the adventures we could be but having. But if you get that, it sets the flavor. You're looking mm -hmm. at that box in the back seat of the car all the way home, and you're like, "Oh shit." <sighs> Back when you had to read the little instruction manual, otherwise you had no chance of knowing how to play the game. Oh, classic. Yeah. For one to two players. Yeah. It was like, yeah, you didn't even have to switch controllers with your brother. You could just play this the whole time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's Amazing. See. Let's hop it around. This is one that, that I know you like. Um, so I'm sure you, I'm going to let you you speak. I don't just like this game. This is this is probably my favorite game of all time. Really? Oh my god. I just it's so good. The the art style, the the flavor, everything it's like there's this overriding idea like you would have in a really good movie that flavors everything about this game. And the character of John Marston is the best. I've never related more to a character in a video game than him. And, he's he's uh, really cool. I've only oh. played through maybe a fourth of the game, I think, which I realize is a crime. But uh, No, amazing. no, no. It's, yeah. Amazing. Yeah, and it's the kind of game where it's like, this one, I think, fulfilled the idea of a sandbox in that I could just go around. I didn't have to do missions. I could find something fun to do in that game on my own. I could make my own fun. Nobody had to tell me try to shoot an eagle when you're on top of a train. I was just trying to do that anyway. I nice. was jumping on trains and, you know, it was uh, so a really special place in my heart. And, yeah, the from, like, the it's like an artist game, too, because the art design, it's not just, like, it's such a gritty representation of the sort of dying days of the Old West that it's... it's uh, you know, like, you don't see that kind of art direction in movies. A lot of times they'll be like, oh, we're going to do a samurai thing, but we're going to do our own flavor kind of fantasy thing on it. And it's it's hard to get something that's, like, really hardcore realistic like that. And when you do get something... And it's you know, gorgeous, too. Yeah. It oh. looks better than most Xbox One games. Yeah, like, yeah. That's crazy. And it's... So it has online multiplayer, right? We can form a posse... And go around 
you know, we could form the Melon Titus Posse. Nice, we should do that. We yeah, we gotta... should. I'm into it for sure. Right on. That that could be that could be fun. Can you play yeah. the Can you play the normal single player like story with two people also? No. Gotcha. No, you can't. Yeah. Gotcha. It's only an online mode of because I think it's like uh, GTA Five or the GTA Online's where you make a whole new character and that's what you play the online mode as. Oh, so you get to create a. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's pretty... Do you get a distinct name as well, or does it just your gamer tag? You get a distinct name, you can form a posse with a distinct name, and then you get your own, like, horse or mount. I, I know that you can get things like donkeys and uh, and bulls. Well, you can get a donkey in the first player game, but you can get a bull in, a, in the first player game. I'll give you some bull. You know what's bull? This game. What? This game right here. Spec, Spec Ops. Spec Ops Stealth Patrol for PlayStation oh. 1. This game is the biggest piece of shit. Like, I had more fun playing Superman 64 than I do trying to play the first part of the first level of this game. Wow, that's a bold claim. And I mean really? it. I'm not exaggerating. I do not understand the controls or purpose of this game whatsoever. So now, I know I know nothing about it. What kind of game is it? Tell me everything about it. <laughs> it's yeah. a well. I'll tell you what I know. What yeah. what I know is extremely limited, and I also don't know if this is the same like because there's some new ish game called Spec Ops: The Line, I which think. has gotten a lot of good reviews. Yeah, I don't but... know if it's the same series. I assume it probably is, but um, you know, sometimes older series had you know they just pick up the the name again after trademark lapses or something who knows but sure yeah it's a, like sort of red dead redemption is a sort of a spiritual successor to red dead revolver but they're very different games yeah yeah um so it's a third person military shooting game that's all i can tell you because it's like one of those like i've never been big on resident evil but you know like the first one how you have to yeah. turn and the tank controls fire and that yeah kind of but just right. awful, a terrible tank. Just, just this tank is a piece of shit. That game, <laughs> that game sucks. We should probably just play it at some time so you can laugh at me having to play it. Live nine.